name's George, I'm 17 and I'm currently studying games development and new media at Bath. I've been studying new media like, and games at the same time. Everyone else in my class seems to go over to the games, but I'm not the only one who does, who prefers the media side. So, uh, especially the design. So I've kind of taken that and tried to, like, thought of setting up a graphic design business where it's like just me freelance, uh, doing work for clients and stuff like that. But I've never done it before, so. No, and I have no idea how to make one. <laughs> I wouldn't know where to look. I mean, probably school would be the best place. Someone who, who already knows Is that kind of part of the industry who could teach me best ways of doing it. Uh, stuff like uh, the financial side, because that's something that I have no, absolutely no clue about doing. So I wouldn't say it's necessary, because we... You shouldn't be forced to study something that you don't want to study, but I think if it could be incorporated into the course that you're doing as your pathway, like uh, how to support yourself, then I think that would be the best way to do it. Especially with especially with my courses, because I mean, you, it's, there's a lot of the course I'm doing, a lot of being, like in later life it would be freelance sort of thing, like a majority of people who work in that industry are freelance, so having that, uh, uh, ha having being taught that is, I think is kind of essential. I don't think there's enough, there's a, a decent amount, but I don't think there's enough to prepare you, because you, you've finished college and you're kind of like thrown out there and you either go into uni, if, like obviously if you want to go to uni then you know you kind of know what you're doing you, you apply and stuff like that but if you're not and you don't want to you kind of like stuck you don't really know where to go who to go to uh, I think the best way that we could that could be helped is I don't know because our teach our teachers here they're, they're they're from like apparently from the industry and stuff uh, then they're kind of if now that obviously they're now teaching it'd be a good if they kind of focus on more on how they got into and Stuff like that, because I've always been told it's not what you know, it's who you know. So it's like, you know, it's if you don't, then you struggle. But we've got the perfect opportunity for people to like teach us how they got into industry and what what's what made them different from everyone else who wants to join the industry. So I think that's the best way. They need, to, I think, they need to teach us more about themselves or tell us about what they did, because yeah. that would, I reckon, it would help us a lot more. I want to study graphic design, but it. If the court, <laughs> I, I had someone, uh, a guy come in, come in who's designing the new Bell website, and he told me he did the same thing, but he, he did a course that's in visual communications. And he said he's not sure if the course actually still exists, so I need to research on whether that course still exists, and I'll probably end up doing that. I don't think that uni is completely vital. Um, I mean, probably more more so nowadays than a few years back, but uh, no, it's not. I don't think it's completely vital. Uh, got to, they've got to take risks, know what they're doing, know their industry, uh, and kind of go from there. Apart from that, I don't really know. If say you just put everything in a portfolio that you've done for one year and you, and you carry on doing stuff and you don't bother, then you know. And obviously, the more you do, the better you get at stuff. Mm -hmm. So you should always keep it updated and stuff like that.